Okay, now we're going to run Pro Tools. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I want to launch my Pro Tools system. I'm going to press my little uh, icon for Pro Tools, my dock on my Mac. And now we're launching Pro Tools. This is our quick start, as you can see right in front of us, for our launching sessions within Pro Tools. Now first we have here is to create session with from template. I'll click the cursor right there. We have several templates we can use. The first being which is guitar. Now here we can use the ballad guitar to be a template. We have the same template with a lower CPU usage. So each one of these is a particular template with a lower PC usage right below it. As you can see, these are all for guitar. It's like setups you would actually have. It'd be a setup, let's say, we come up with a guitar track, uh, a drum track, a bass track. Nothing's on those tracks, but the drum track would have like a MIDI file, and that's what's prevalent in all these um, session templates. Now, go here lower, you'll see here. We have miscellaneous templates also as well. These are for podcasting, or if you want to do a Windows configuration also. Now, below that, we've got music. This is our music configuration for our templates. So we've got blues, we've got the drum and bass, we've got electronica, we've got funk, hip hop. Uh, right here's a house template, a jazz template, a pop template, and below that we also have R&B and rock templates. Now the difference in these templates, as you can see, there is no template for lower CPU usage. So. Uh, but these templates are the same. They'll have separate tracks in them, and you'll see these tracks later on. But first, I want to go over the idea of what these templates are and how this quick start will help you to get started. Next, we're going to go over the record and mix section. Now, here we can have record and mix. These templates have, for example, 24 tracks, each track having EQ and a dynamic, which means it could be a compressor or a gate, and we have effects return, where these uh, tracks can have sends that go into effects and the returns go back in. So we have 24 tracks with effects and returns with no dynamics. Here's 24 tracks plus just the effects returns. Then we have 32 tracks with the effects, dynamics, and returns, and 32 tracks with effects and returns. And the last one, of course, is 32 tracks with effects returns. Now next we have for the templates are our songwriter templates. Let's say you're writing a song, you're a guitarist, and you're strumming away in your song, and you want to write a song out. Well, these are song structure templates. So you have a guitar track and a couple of the tracks, and of course a drum track, which is a MIDI track already lined up within the template. And below this we have again, now you see here, we have the lower CPU usage. Now below that we have a pianist, songwriter's template, and below that we have a singer's template. And these are our create session from template. Now right here we have create blank session. Now, when you're starting out making a blank session, means the session's going to be up from the beginning, nothing in it at all. We want to set the parameters of that session. So, we want to set the audio file parameters. Now, right here you'll see it says BFW, which is wave. Now, I prefer to use the wave parameter um, audio file type because if my session is set up this way, it can be used in the Windows platform, a PC platform, or my Mac. I can go back and forth. So I can go from a session, let's say on my Mac, go to a studio, they may just have Windows there. Well, the same file will run on their Windows platform. But we have bit depth, 24 bit or 16. It's 24 bit or 16. I'll use 16 right here for the session, we'll say. Sample rate, 48, 44.1. And here we have the IO setup. That gives my last IO setup. Our stereo mix, or we can use the C24, LE stereo setup, which is a um, hardware uh, mixer made for your Pro Tools system, or a Control 24 setup, which goes for that mixer also. In this case, like, I'll use last used. Now, below that we have, I can pull up a recent session. See that? These are recent sessions I've had before. I can pull them right up. Or I can open a session. It may not be in my recent folder. You know, I may have a session in my folder I can navigate to. And I'll say, let me go and press OK right here. And it'll look for that folder. Well, here's a folder right here. And this is my Pro Tools session folder. And I can find past sessions that were here before. So I'll cancel this. And Pro Tools is actually launched right now. Well, next, we're going to go over templates.